Who am I? Why should you care? But you don't have to. I care. If you did, that, I mean, that's cool as well. I just thought it was time that I introduce myself or reintroduce myself or really just break down who I am and why I'm here. It's a solid question I get asked a lot, so let's answer it. Uh, I took notes, so if I'm looking down, it's because I took notes. Uh, who I am? I go by Brooklyn on the internet. It's my stage name. It's not my birth name. If your favorite rappers can do it, so can I. Uh, I'm a mother. I have two boys, 113, 111. We live in Tennessee. I'm willing to admit that I am learning every single day. Me and Google are like this. I'm raising my kids to understand the world around them. We don't sugarcoat in this house, and I do everything in my power to leave this earth, whenever that is, uh, even just a little bit better than I found it for them. And then hope that they do the same for the ones that come after them. That was deep. I know. Um, I've lived multitude, a multitude of different lives. I've had a bunch of different careers, different jobs. Um, I have a degree that I don't use. I'm married. I've been with my husband for 13 years. He is my oldest stepfather. He's been in his life since he was four months old. And then he's my youngest real dad. So I thought it was important to put that in there. You never know. You know, it's 2023. We do whatever we want. So on social media, I gained my following for being consistently honest and trustworthy. And hilarious. You'll see that soon. I've never wavered. I've never changed who I was. Uh, I'm not somebody online and then someone completely different offline. Like I was saying, I've lived many, many lives that have given me many different experiences and a lot of different lessons. And my number one lesson that I've ever learned in life is the only thing that got me to where I am is being straight up and honest. I'm a very upfront person. Some say that I'm intimidating. I've grown to learn that that's not the case. I just have no problem speaking my mind, speaking up for myself, speaking up for others. So that's, that's kind of how I gained the following. Um, I never came online for a following. I just came on to help people, make people laugh, entertain. Um, and that's just where we are today. My niche, I don't have one. My niche is just my authenticity. Uh, I live out loud, it's a hashtag I use, live out loud. My Life is online and it's not just the good things, it's not just the vacations, it's not the photoshopped photos from vacation that people are doing that I think is very weird. I talk on my Instagram stories, like it's a blog, on the good days and the bad days. We talk about amazing vacations that I take with my family and then we talk about how stressed I am because laundry is piling up and why am I the only person that's doing it. I'm relatable in a real sense. I'm not aesthetically pleasing. This is the most makeup I've worn in a long time. And that's just because I got new eyebrows yesterday. So I just wanted to see what they look like with some makeup. I'm usually in a t-shirt. I love makeup. I love doing makeup. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. But it's just not high priority for me when it comes to being online. I just am who I am. I really don't know how to explain it any other way. Um, in a world where everybody's trying to be somebody else or everybody's trying to change who they are to fit in to a societal standard, never been my thing, never will be my thing. Um, uh, I have a degree in the medical field. I worked in surgery. My specialty was pediatrics, but I worked in women's health, plastic surgery. I absolutely loved working in surgery. COVID hit and we thought it would be safer and more financially practical for me to stay home with the kids when there was no school uh, while my husband ran our business. We own two businesses. Will I ever go back to surgery? I don't know. I am a big dreamer. I have a million and seven goals and I try my damnedest to accomplish all of them while I'm alive. I'm currently working on my certification to become a certified life coach. It's kind of what I've been doing my whole life anyways. Might as well get certified in it and gain some extra knowledge. I love learning. Psychology is a hobby for me. I like studying psychology as a hobby. I was recently studying and took the test three times to get my realty license because we are interested in investment real estate. We have no idea what we're doing, but we'll figure it out, maybe. I, I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it just so that I can pass it, even if I never use it. It's just who I am. I know that my haters are watching me and loving that I failed it, so can't keep them happy forever. Um... Yeah, I talk about real life, life lessons. I've been through some stuff. 
I don't make it my entire personality, but I definitely use the good and the bad lessons as stepping stones, growing stones. And then I talk about it online because I know someone out there is probably going through the same thing, has been through the same thing, and I wish I had some people to explain to me the outcomes of things or maybe a different frame of minds to be in or how to look at things differently and get through situations in a more positive way. Uh, my passion in life is speaking. I say my passion, I have a million passions, but I really enjoy speaking to people, with people. Um, I like watching people feel better about themselves. I always say that I spread positivity with spice. I try to remind people of the magic they've always had in them and maybe just somewhere along the line in their life society or even people close to them might have tried to dim their light and I just try to help them find it again. So another reason why I'm doing the life coaching thing. I have goals to go on a speaking tour and be completely embarrassing online and show people that what's the worst that's going to happen? Someone's going to laugh? Good. I like making people laugh too. So it's a win-win for me. And then talking about where confidence can come from. That's the number one question that's always asked for me is where I get my confidence. And it's literally just living my life, being okay with failing and being embarrassing. That's where it starts. That's not what this video is about though. I love animals, all animals. I save worms off sidewalks. If you hear snoring in any of my videos ever, it's my French Bulldog. I am a hard worker. I put my entire being into whatever I'm doing at the moment. Some people think it's a flaw. Some people say it's an asset to have. I say it's a little bit of both. Sometimes it's a little toxic how much I put myself and put my entire, put my entire being into something that I'm doing. Who I am. I'm an advocate and an associate. I don't use the term ally because I feel like it was overplayed and we can get into my unpopular opinion about the word ally and allies uh, some other time, but I, I speak up for what's right. I think the world should just be accepting of humans. The end. Uh, I'm not scared to say that out loud. I tell people when we're talking about different things, I say what everybody whispers about out loud. I hope someone somewhere can hear me and help. I don't know. You never know. You don't know who's listening. What's a positive thing about me? I never had to make a public apology about my shitty behavior or actions that I've taken online that I thought I was going to get away with. It's a flex. Let's see. Last bits of things that I've got. I love fashion. I do love fashion. I've always... You can't tell today. So just pipe down. Um, but I told myself in 2022 that I was going to start getting dressed. That was the year I was going to start getting dressed. I was going to put on jeans and a nice shirt instead of sweatpants. Um, it's boosted com my confidence even more. It's made me feel good about myself. I'm 36. I just turned 36 and I'm in my prime, baby. Dress like it. I love all types of fashion. I don't have any rules. If I like it, I'm wearing it. You don't have to, but you should not wear what I'm wearing, but you should wear something if you like it, even if someone thinks it's ugly or, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, I love charities and I've worked closely with charities. I think it's important to work with charities because if you find a group of people that are genuinely just trying to help other people that just need help, I'd say that's going to get you a ticket into the good place. I don't sugarcoat anything. I think we went over that. Let's see what my last bit of notes are. I know grief. I know anger. I know betrayal. I know love. I know joy. Like I said, I've lived a pretty fulfilled life so far, so I've been able to fortunately experience everything. And I say fortunately for even the bad things because I know people that are no longer on this planet that don't get to experience any emotions. So I'll take the win where the win is. I think it's important for me to say who I am again and introduce myself because, like I said, we're living in a time where too many people are putting on a front or faking or pretending to be something they're not because they think it's going to get them an extra buck or they think they're going to be the next Kardashian and that's just not my style. I would love to be able to spread positive messages. Do I have drama? We all do. We're humans. Do I stick around in it? No. Have I made mistakes? A hundred percent. But I also am the type of person that has full-blown accountability for anything that I've done. That's where the life lessons come. So. That's who I am. I'm not a scared, a scared. I'm not a scared to live my life out loud in hopes that 
the good and the bad help people along the way. So yeah, that's just me. If you have any other questions or have ideas that you would like to know about or just ask. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you stay. Again, I'm hilarious. And we're all in this together. The selfish people are the only ones that don't believe that. Have the day Carmel allows you to have.